is Kristen from WNYC, and you're listening to the Bob Stye Show, and he's just so incredibly gorgeous. <laughs> the Metal Chick Show, The Cheese Show, Janine, Bob Stye, the greatest lineup in WRCM's history. Hello, 1142. Where are you calling from? We're listening from the shore to the Bronx. I thank you all for listening. Oh, boy, thank you. Are they still with us? Yes. I thought they were around the Reagan's funeral. No, he's not dead. He is dead, Janine. He's not dead. Damn. It's uh, 1142 <laughs> on AM 850 WRCM Bronx. He's making Bronx. a comeback in 96. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1142, Bronx in New York, AM 8. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. Be a good radio bit. Bronx in Detroit, WRCM, AM 850 WRCM, FM Detroit. Let's start off with our weekends. Janine, how was your weekend? I went out and played pool on Friday, and after Saturday night, I did absolutely nothing because I have no social life. All right. <laughs> but you did listen to Alice Cooper and WNWFM. Oh, I did. I listened to the stupid King Biscuit Flower Hour. It was good because it was from uh, 78. So Alice Cooper doesn't do a lot of those songs anymore. And 1978 was three years before Ronald Reagan passed away. <laughs> he did not pass away. Uh, did he pass away? Oh, Ed's saying no also. <laughs> you guys are wrong. He's dead. But, That's uh, the viper. Uh, my weekend was very good. It was the best weekend I've had in ages. <laughs> Friday night I went to a club. Is it Houston or Houston Street in the village? Houston. Okay, I said Houston. Like Houston, Texas. Spelled like Houston. Houston. Called Tilt. Tilt Rocks. You ever been there? Tilt Rocks. And uh, they, it was all British nights. So they played a couple of Smith songs, and that was kind of cool. The only weird thing was I'm sitting with Kim at the table, and uh, once again, I am the hick of the hick still, even though I consider myself a New Yorker more than a Baltimorean now. And uh, we're sitting at a table enjoying ourselves, and there was a couple next to us, and they started doing C-O-K-E. <laughs> so Kim and I walked A-W-A-Y. <laughs> Very scary for me. I, I guess I'm still a hick when it comes to things like that. I've had people do that sitting down next to me. Actually, one of them was Timothy Leary, the, the drug guy, Timothy Leary. Where'd you meet Timothy Leary? At a Timothy Leary party. Oh, God, <laughs> Timothy Leary party. I'm, I ate the brownies, too, and I, I do regret it. You ate the brownies? <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Hash brownies. Uh, didn't you know better? No, I didn't, and I drank the punch, too. <gasps> Jenny! <laughs> I'm going to be getting, like, bad trips. But the whole point is, this is during the middle of dinner, and there's, I mean, it was an invitation-only thing. There were only about 25 people invited to this thing, right? And we're sitting at this table, and he takes this ashtray, and he turns it over, and he dumps out this big package of Coke on it and just starts snorting it at the dinner table. What were you doing at a Timothy Larry party? I was invited. Because I'm, I'm hot. I'm the metal chick. I'm the metal chick, for God's sake. Did you have, like, any bad hallucinations or anything? No, but the, the punch was, really. woo so what happened? We just kind of been goofy. Yeah, the punch was wow. It was like uh, it was like if you took Kool Aid and and poured like uh, seltzer in it. It was woo. Right. I didn't eat. I didn't even eat the meal. All I ate was the brownie. And then after I left, someone told me, "I can't believe you ate those brownies." How old were you? It was just last year. Well, I didn't know that. I was 18. No one tells me anything. What's that, Ed? Oh, Ed wants the address for the Timothy Leary party, but uh. So in uh, we'll go some nationwide news now. They caught the idiot that blew up the world upon the World Trade Center. He's just one of many. I think there's got to be more. No, isn't it true that he uh, tried to get uh, his money? His he tried to get his money back from this truck. What a putz! <laughs> what an idiot! The dumbest terrorist in the world. All I can't. for four hundred dollars, it was. Edge running down to the quad office. <laughs> All right, you know, you have some newspaper clippings you brought in for me. Yeah. Do you want me to go with the first one? Yeah. Okay. In the Swiss Alps, which are also by Italy and also Germany, uh -huh. because of all the extreme um, summers and weather that we're having, the Alps are beginning to melt. And, you know, hikers and skiers, they lose their way in the Alps, and people can't find them because in a day they're covered with snow. But now that they're melting, people are, are coming down like, you know, People that have been dead for about 30 years or so, you know, just floating down this. I'm glad you read these articles because, of course, I don't read. You know, it's a good thing I don't read. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it gets gets to the point that these these skiers come across this body lying, you know, by the Alps there, and they don't know what it is. So these rescuers come, and they don't realize how old this person is. This thing that they found, perfectly freeze-dried human body, 3,300 years BCE. That wasn't that President Reagan? No, it was not. <laughs> and the whole point is 
that they didn't realize how old he was, so they started taking him apart on the site. And here's a, um, a Jeff, quote from the article. I bet you Jeffy Dahmer arranged this. Yeah, here's a quote from the article. It's in Popular Science. Um, <clears throat> um, the rescue caused the most prominent disfiguration of the body, tearing a sizable chunk from the left hip. The penis is missing, probably ripped off with his pants. I hear that happens to me. <laughs> they ripped off his pants and took the penis right off with it. Brings you definition to shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Brings you definition to a pickpocketer. <laughs> I mean, that's a bad day for you. I lost my wallet, my driver's license, and my genitals. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. That's the Iceman. So they think when they dug him out, he lost his penis. They ripped it off with his pants. So if they do generate him and bring him back to life, he's going to say, why don't you just kill me on the spot now? Well, they say, like, if they if they clone him, he won't have any of his mentality. He'll, you know, he won't realize that he's not in 3300 BCE. Janine, no guy without his penis has his mentality. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> I figured it out myself. Yeah. God, now they know how Josh Balloon feels. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> now you know how Larry feels. Wow. <laughs> That's right. Let's make fun of the ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> not my ex-boyfriend. No, not anymore. Well, <laughs> soon we'll have yes the ex with Janine. <laughs>